Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Motorhead Garage is presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Welcome to another edition of Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. That, my friends, is a Jeep that looks the way a Jeep is supposed to look. And if anybody is an expert on Jeeps, it's our friend Mike from Badgerland Off-Road. Mike, what is the essence of what you guys do at Badgerland? We like to build a Jeep that you can drive every day and take out on the weekends and have fun with it. So you're building custom Jeeps. What is your specialty at Badgerland? Well, my specialty is to um, put lift kits on, wheels, tires. We also do regearing. How does the process work? Someone comes to you, they have the Jeep of their dreams in their head. What do they need to bring to you as far as ideas? A lot of times you don't even have to bring an idea if you're unsure, but if you have an idea, we can help put it together or swing you in a different direction if it's not really what you want out of it. You know, we can always make it what you really expect to have. What do you see most? You see in folks that want to take a, a Jeep and really, you know, ramp it up and amp it up, or are you seeing folks that just want to make little changes? A lot of it want to ramp it up. They want to make it look really cool, but yet, you know, if they want to go out on the weekends and have fun, they can. You're in the area, you're around Chicagoland, yep. and around Milwaukee and stuff like that. So what kind of clientele are you seeing up there? Oh man, we see everybody. I mean, everybody from your hardworking person to guys that own their own businesses to, um, you know, factory owners, things like that, we see anything. Those are the folks that want a Jeep that, that goes well on the road, mm -hmm. using it during the week, but then they want to take it off-roading. So what are some of the really important considerations you can keep in mind when you're modifying a Jeep? The biggest thing, like especially for off-roading, is uh, the suspension. We make sure we get a suspension system that can handle both on and off-road, because there are definitely some that are just for off-road, you really don't want that for road driving. Yeah, and then what are some of the hardest things about keeping it comfortable? for folks on the road if it's their daily driver? For us, springs and shocks are the biggest things that make it the most comfortable. And what are some of the, the add-ons? What are some of the things that you really enjoy doing to these vehicles and some of the things that really make them pop as a cool custom vehicle? The wheels and tires, I think, is one of the biggest things that make them pop. Obviously, you know, you can add the color there, you can add the, the look, the aggressiveness, and also fenders make a huge deal, too, because stock fenders just don't look the best. <laughs> you said that you've got folks that are experienced Jeepers and mm -hmm. other folks coming to you that are brand new at the game. So how are you able to steer some of those folks that they may not quite know what they're looking for? Usually it, it starts with the question what you plan on using the Jeep for. And if they say they want to use it for off-roading, then I know how to start the build. If they said, I just want the look, then we also know which way to go. We know to push the tires, wheels, fenders, bumpers, because the suspension system ain't quite as important then. And sometimes they might come in with an idea. They may not be the best idea, so how do you handle that? We try to still figure out which direction they're going, because that's always the key. Because once you figure out where they're going, then it's easier to figure out what you want to sell. And, you know, if they want to be that weekend warrior, that's, that's where I really like, because I like to build the Jeep that can handle everything. Of course, Mike, you're the mechanical end of things, really the nuts and bolts of how all this works, but when it comes to style, your better half here, Jenny, you know all about style. So what are some considerations you need to take in when you're building somebody's perfect Jeep? Really, it is just all their personality and what their end goal is with it, daily driving it. If they want to off-road it, it's their personality. I mean, they have to drive it every day. They want to show it off. It's their hard-earned money that's going into this vehicle. It's an investment. So everything on it needs to match exactly what they want. What kind of time do you spend with a client once they come to you with, with ideas for a team? It's really never-ending from that first phone call to that meeting and consultation till it's finished. I, we're there always by email, phone call, in person. So it's from start to finish and after. And how satisfying is it when you roll that Jeep out for them for the first time? It is amazing to see what they had in their minds and what we can do for them and put it in front of them. I mean, their smile says it all. And what does it say about the Jeep world? You know, folks, uh, every Jeep is different. Every Jeep is unique. You never see two alike unless they're right off the showroom floor. Yeah. Uh, what does that say about Jeepers and Jeeps? Oh, Jeep people are amazing. I mean, a huge reason why we're in this and why we stay in this because the people. I mean, it doesn't get any better. Obviously, you've been out on the trail <laughs> on the way here. A little dirty. This is your vehicle, yeah? yeah. What, what is it about uh, Jeeps that you love so much? Being able to go anywhere, anytime we want. I mean, just hop off the pavement and the dirt. And I mean, we have purpose-built rigs. He daily drives his. I only off-road mine and drive it to and from work, but being able to do that, there, there is no comparison. 
And Mike told me you love doing the soft top stuff. That's kind I of, do. Yeah, what's tricky about installing one of those and, and what are some of the nuances of getting it right? Well, I mean, there's some components that are in these that, you know, if you don't get it right, your top's not gonna be on right. And I mean, that's also an investment. I mean, it's a top on your Jeep, so just getting it right the first time. The customer doesn't have time to deal with that. That's what I'm for. You know, they're working hard to pay for that, so I'm working hard to put it on for them. And you have folks that come to you for little tweaks and, and little additions to their Jeep. How many folks keep coming back and keep adding and keep adding and keep adding? Uh, most people come back. I mean, we just treat them like they deserve to be treated, and they come back and just add more things as they can. Well, when it comes to style and off-road performance, nobody does it better than Badgerland Off-Road. You can find them at badgerlandoffroad.com. We shall return with more Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings in just a minute.